this is Alpha Wolf Electronics and all my bits and pieces for the uh, aerator, sorry, the aeroponics system has finally arrived. And so I'm quite excited to get started. I say get started, but I'm quite excited to get this project finished, which hopefully will happen today. Fingers crossed and all that. Oh, and knock on wood. So, what are you going to do with it? Um, well, let's start by saying what just actually arrived. Uh, for those who haven't been following, um, this uh, 12 head, 20 millimeter ceramic disc ultrasonic um, Fogger unit arrived from the States. Uh, it is by uh, House of Hydro. I'll uh, put a link in the caption below. Very helpful people, quick to answer, quick to ship. Um, really, seems like it's quite a different experience from the, the Chinese one that I ordered, the one head one. Um, so this I'm very excited to, to get started with and get trying. <laughs> I gotta say, it's a little bit bigger than I expected and it's only just gonna fit into my reservoir actually. So the reservoir should fill with fog very quickly, which should be an advantage for me. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, this is gonna, this basically this is float, so it floats at the right height no matter how much water is in the, the reservoir. Um, so it's gonna fall inside the reservoir, produce a, a hell of a lot of fog and nutrients in aerated form. Once the chamber, the reservoir fills up, <clears throat> this uh, is the lid that's gonna go on top of it. I'm going to put a support plate below and mount my fan. This is a, a uh, waterproof fan, 120mm uh, fan, adjustable speed by the way. A uh, fan that I also bought from House of Hydro. Basically they have covered for pretty much anything you need. That's going to go on top, screw into, I'm going to uh, give it a bit of uh, silicone. Get it in silicone here so it's, it's a tight seal, probably not needed but hey. It's going to go on top. That's going to create a pressure within the chamber. It's going to push um, air in. And then I have uh, a 40 millimeter uh, PVC tubing is going to go up. And that's going to distribute it uh, to a pipe system above the, uh, the, uh, the fan that I showed earlier. Uh, the mount that's one side of the lid. Why did you split up the lid off? Um, it's not going to be tight that way, is it? No, it's not. Unfortunately, uh, due to the placement of my reservoir, and this is really the only one place it can be, uh, the tubes are going to run above it, so I can't really have the lid be one. So the behind bit of it, this is the other half, that used to be a siphon rim. This one is going to have the 40mm pipe to transfer uh, the fog up. So that's going to sit behind all the grow, grow tubes. And this is going to come in from the front. I'll put in the fog resistant from the front of it, and this will slide in and fall in place. Now it's fairly tight. I might have to just give it, I don't know, a piece of tape on top of it so it's still sort of modular. Uh, it may not even be an issue. Uh, we'll see. Surely the uh, easiest transfer is going to be through the 40 millimeter pipe once I create pressure here. Uh, this will have the siphon still, uh, but it'll just be a bigger siphon, I think, so I'll fill up that hole and just pack it around. So yeah, uh, I've had some issues in mounting this. Obviously, these plastic, uh, these plastic reservoirs that you buy at local uh, hardware store are very sort of flimsy plastic. It's not ideal for, for what I'm doing. Um, the more I'm doing this, the more I'm thinking I should be building a uh, a proper lid, maybe of a you know more solid piece of plastic, maybe polycarbonate of some sort and just because then you can mount stuff to it. I've had to screw stuff in through a piece of wood to sort of stabilize it. This is very stable and doesn't have any issues at all but you know it looks so-so. Um, if it works that's probably what I'm going to do but for now I'll just see if I can get everything up and running. I can always recreate the top lid later with, with a proper piece of wood. The actual reservoir is completely flat so I should be able to just put that on top. So yeah I'll probably end up doing that but for now I'm just cutting those slip in half and, and then we'll see how it works. Fingers crossed, stay tuned. I've now created the top pipe, uh, PVC pipe again, uh, with outlets, T-sections to each of the grow tubes. There we go. Uh, it gets ridiculously hot, even under the shade net. In fact, it's so hot that you, know, it's, you don't want to hold it for a longer period of time. So, um, I don't know, maybe I need to move the shade net up so it's not actually touching it. 
but the idea is here, obviously, that uh, you know I get my uh, the actual fog is going to be pumped up through this C-section here and distributed out to each of the grow tubes. Uh, why did you choose the 40 millimeter uh, gauge? Well. It, there's a very big difference between the 40 and the 50 in that the gauge uh, of the, the tube is uh, much smaller, easier to work with, um, and I think uh, it should be enough to push it out, well, I'm hoping anyway, because it's done. <laughs> so, um, no, I think it, it'll work just fine. I do have 16 millimeter T sections out to the tubing to go into each grow tube. Uh, the collected volume pushed up hopefully will be enough for all of them we'll find out soon enough if not then I all of this is still modular now I purposely didn't glue any of this together uh, the top the fork system because it seems plenty tight and you know the, the fog is gonna go places of least resistance and that's gonna be inside the grow tube so I don't it's not too big of a concern to be honest um, so once it gets up there and it's heavier than air so it's just gonna fall down through each tube naturally, it's my expectation anyway. Um, so yeah, all I need to do is do the final fitting on the um, outlet, on the lid of this grow, uh, sorry, on this reservoir. And then as you saw earlier, the fan is already done and then we should be ready for the test. So yeah, keep tuned and uh, see where this is going. Cheers.